<clears throat> Good evening and salutations, my BNB fans. You know, Born and Beautiful have some of the most oddest conversations, the most oddest dialogue at times that I've ever heard out of any soap opera. And I think the reason for that is that this episode is about maybe 18, 20 minutes max, right? So it's like the conversation between Hope and Steffi. Steffi just keeps making the same points over and over again. Like, she's very controlling. She wants to sit there and tell Deacon, oh, he needs to sit there and be quiet. I can't, I can't let this go. You know, like, I can't move on. We can't move on until Deacon pretty much shuts up. And I'm like, you do realize that you don't, you're not in control of telling other people how to handle their grief, right? Like, let's just sit there and say, for sake argument, Sheila was actually dead, right? And he snipped there thinking that she's still alive. Let him process that. Why is this triggering you so, for somebody who has, who so-called has it all, a husband, kids, a career, why are you worried about one, what one restaurant owner is snipped there saying? Oh, he shouldn't be snipped there saying that's my husband. Your husband's a grown ass man. Like, seriously, your husband's a grown ass man. You are such a control freak. And of course, Hope is like, well, you know, it's kind of odd, but once, you know. It, it, uh, again, it's the, it's the placating Steffi. Steffi part in this this episode that is just so obnoxious. Now, for a half an hour, you have Deacon telling this medical doctor, which by the way, I don't understand how the coroner just pronounced Sheila's death, and yet the the police just believed it. They just believed it, right? Did they even actually, like, did the coroner actually even do a DNA test? Because at this point, it should just be a record that somebody is walking, you know what I'm saying? Like, that somebody had plastic surgery to look like her. Like, seriously. And the, the police just didn't sit there and bother to be like, hey, listen, this other woman that just got released and then... Sheila's dead, but we don't even know Sheila's dead because it could be this other woman that looks just like her. You're telling me that the LAP, the LAPD, no detectives on, you know, Baker can sit there and put two and two together. But Deacon Sharp could. <laughs> I think that's just the part is just like, are you kidding me right now? But yeah, he tells her about sugar and he tells her about Lauren and Ben is like, oh, do you think that she's just that they're just messing with you? And I'm like, bro, you're a doctor. You know about plastic surgery. You know it's totally possible that this person could have gotten surgery to look like Sheila. This isn't some this isn't like days of our lives. When you're talking about possession and stuff, which I do think is totally possible, but this is just more on a science level. Like, well, the coroner, the coroner said that uh, she was dead. It was like, did the coroner do a DNA test? Like, seriously? Or is it just you're so afraid of your damn life that you're, you can't even sit there and process the possibility that Sheila could be alive because you're up, you're 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 too afraid to sit there and think of what your wife is going to be mad at you and start yelling at you, like, bro, <laughs> like, did you really just sit there and give up your balls when you decide to marry this woman? I, I just I don't understand that. You know, if, I know that Deacon is bad at explaining stuff, but even in this disjointed way that he's to trying to tell this story. It's still, at the very least, it's plausible. But he just doesn't want to sit there and bring himself to even the possibility um, of it and, and, and probably just risking his wife being upset with him. 
Um, now, Ridge is not there asking how RJ's doing, and, you know, she's contemplating, like, you know, I should sit there and tell him, and I don't want to tell him. So she doesn't want to tell him. I don't know what, you know, what your description said for your DVR if you're watching it, but she didn't want to tell him. Um, they talk about Deacon, Ridge, you know, just talks crap about him like usual. Oh, he's, he's crazy. You know, he, he's, it's not fair. And, you know, he's, he's disrupting other people's lives. I don't understand how that's possible, but like, um, she's gone and he needs to accept it. And, and now you're sitting there wondering where does Steffi get that control, that, that controlling people from? You know, telling other people what they need to do and how they need to handle it. Um, yeah, they sit there and talk about Sheila the entire time. And that's, that's pretty much about it. Oh, and they also talked about Douglas and Thomas. Yeah, that was it. Um, yeah, I think that's actually pretty much about it. I can't think of anything else. But if I forgot anything, you know what to do. Come to the live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll sit there and talk about all the shows. General Hospital, Days of Our Lives, Born and Beautiful Young and Restless. With that being said, I'm going to go. I'll see you in the next video.